So we're going to have a look at this little small shrubby tree. You can see this one um, has a couple stems out at the base and then there's another little baby one beside it here. And so what we're looking at is the Pacific Crab Apple, Malus fusca. And there's some traits we can look at that are fairly distinctive. You can see that along the branches, it has these sort of modified, almost thorn-like spur branches sticking out at sharp angles. And these are fairly sharp, like if you poked into it, you could hurt yourself. So, um, but they're not as sharp as like, a, I don't know, a blackberry um, prickle. But we have these kind of modified spur pointed uh, branches that um, can be distinctive. Not always present on younger trees, um, so sometimes you have to look a little bit closely for that. Another trait we can look at is the actual young twigs, which are kind of a nice reddish color. They're a little bit shiny. Uh, they have little lenticel gray dots along them. And uh, you can see they have uh, small buds, small lateral buds, and a quite pointed terminal bud. So looking at for these little uh, lenticels along the kind of brownish reddish branches is helpful. Uh, if you come early enough in the fall or early winter, you might be able to find the clusters of little crabapple fruits, which is very helpful for identifying this plant. But if you come later, all you might find are these little uh, stalks where the fruit was attached. So you can see they are in a cluster. So again, that can be helpful as well. If you're really lucky, you might find some leaves on the ground, but I spent a fair bit of time looking and I couldn't find a single leaf. So um, in the winter, the leaves might not be very durable. They might break down really quickly. So yeah, if you're looking for a small shrubby tree, Pacific crab apple, Malus fusca, look for the um, spur-like uh, thorns along the stem, modified branches, and the uh, lenticels, a little uh, along the reddish brownish stems, the small pointed terminal bud with many bud scales, and if you can, try and find some of the fruiting stalks where the fruit was attached in the summer and fall.